Over the years at Tech Yes City, there's one question that I constantly come into, and that is, can I activate Windows for free? That is on Windows 10 or Windows 11, can I get rid of that annoying watermark and activate those extra features without having to pay any money? And here is where if you start digging on the internet, you really won't find a whole lot of information on this topic. It kind of is like a gray zone where you'll hear opinions like mine on the topic, you'll go to different forums on Reddit, and you'll hear different things on those topic discussions there. But when it comes down to it, I've previously called Microsoft in the past with one of the channel sponsors here, SCD Keys, and in that conversation, they pretty much just said, as long as your Windows is activated with a single end user license, you're good to go. Though of course, if you don't wanna pay any money whatsoever, then how do you go about activating Windows? Well, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the two different categories. That is the consumer, the single end user license, and also the business where they have to resell PCs and they maybe have agreements with Microsoft already. If you cannot get access to any of the free methods that we're using in today's video, then fear not, you can still get Windows 10 or Windows 11 activated for as little as $15 using today's video sponsor, SCD Keys. By using the link in the description below and the coupon code BFTYC, you can get activated with a single end user license. Links in description below. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. And in today's video, we are not gonna be talking about the illegal methods of activating Windows. That is using some third party software and putting an add-on, which essentially gets detected as a virus in Windows. And we say, for instance, someone updates that computer at a later date, it may unactivate your Windows. We're also not gonna talk about the volume license keys. We have discussed this in the past in a separate video, and they are not legitimate keys for single end users. That is someone building their first PC or even building a second PC and just using that PC at home. These keys are not appropriate for that situation. But what we are going to discuss is say for instance the first method here that we're going to talk about and that is going out and finding a used PC that perhaps is at the dumpster and no one wants it anymore but it's also got a Windows 7 license still printed on that case. Now in this scenario you can actually legitimately reuse that Windows license since Windows 7 and 8 and also 10 and 11 keys are all interchangeable that means if you find a Windows 7 key you can actually use it to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11 and vice versa. They say for instance you find this PC at a dumpster and then you bring it home you've paid nothing for it or even if you find a $5 Windows PC at a junk store and you take that PC home, what are you able to do? Now here's where the lines start to get blurred a little bit. If it's for personal use, you can reuse that motherboard and activate that motherboard on Windows 7 all the way up to Windows 11, and you don't have to change any of the parts around. However, here is where things get a little bit tricky. This took me a long time to dig through the grapevine and find out the official news. If you're an official registered retailer in Australia and you wanna reuse that Windows key and you find, say for instance, a PC at the dumpster that's an OEM HP or an OEM Lenovo, you technically have to reuse 90% of the PC. So now if you are a retailer and you wanna reuse that key and you wanna repurpose a gaming system, for example, you can then have one choice of component to change. And most of the time that is going to be the case. Since if you're making a gaming PC, you don't wanna be selling a gaming PC with an old HP or Lenovo case. So what you do here is change all the components into the new gaming PC case, and you can then take that Windows license and repaste it into the different case. So this is why in ways I feel like Lenovo, HP, Dell, they all have their proprietary connectors and proprietary power supplies so this is one extra way that these companies wanna keep selling you new hardware by using these proprietary connectors, but also making sure that if you're a retailer, you can't legally resell the build if you're using say a different case and a different power supply. But what you can do is add components on, and this isn't considered part of that 90% since you're adding more hardware into the build, whether it's an extra hard drive, more RAM, or even a graphics card, if the build didn't originally have a graphics card, then that will not count as part of that 90%. And you can essentially beef up a gaming PC from an old OEM build and legally resell it as Windows 10 or Windows 11 activated with that original license, even if it's Windows 7. So that is the first method of activating Windows that I know of that's legitimate. And one thing about that is too, is sometimes there is a double activation policy on those older keys meaning that if the first activation doesn't go through properly, you can reuse that key on another motherboard of a similar type. 
And I do have a smirk on my face when I say a motherboard of a similar type, because I'm sure there are people out there that are not going to get those keys and reuse them on newer hardware. Then now it's time to move on to method number two, and that is if your motherboard essentially is broken and you replace that, but at the same time, you want to upgrade your system. And I do say at the same time, because that's legally what you're allowed to do. So say for instance, you have a Ryzen 5, 1600 and then your motherboard breaks down and you decide that you want to get a new x570 motherboard to replace that motherboard with and at the same time you want to get a 5950x well what you can do in this situation is you can use your old ssd and your old components and just change out the motherboard and whether it be the cpu as well and then you can then go when it says activate windows you can then call up microsoft and you'll get an activation code that you can dial in through the telephone and once this is all done your new motherboard will then be activated with windows and how this essentially works when it comes to microsoft activations they're actually tied to the motherboard and the serial number of that motherboard there's a unique identifier in the chipset that identifies that motherboard with a code and so that is what activates to the microsoft servers so this is why another method we'll move on to method three because it ties in perfectly this is why when you buy used motherboards off the market a lot of the times those motherboards can be activated already with windows 10 pro or if they've been activated with windows 7 or windows 8 then they'll work for windows 11 pro too in a recent parts hunt i did i bought a h610 motherboard we're doing a mini itx build for my son and this ended up turning out to be already pre-activated with windows 10 pro which then when i installed windows 11 on this 12th gen build it worked absolutely fine i then didn't have to go out and spend any additional money because windows was already pre-activated now for method number four if you are selling computer devices whole systems for under a hundred dollars and they're brand new they may be eligible for a completely free windows license that's fully activated however there has been a bit of controversy with these licenses especially in australia some businesses have come into a lot of trouble where they have tried to use these licenses on more expensive systems so for what it's worth, if you do have a complete system that's made for under $100, then they are eligible for free Windows licenses. Now, moving on to method number five, if you are a student, here is where some universities will actually roll out collaborated programs with Microsoft to give the students Windows 10 or Windows 11 licenses completely free. So now with all those methods explained, they are the ones that I know of personally from speaking with industry contacts and also being in this industry quite a while that you're able to use a legitimate single end user license to activate windows of course you have to come into the key itself you can't go on the internet and say okay can someone give me some free windows keys because i doubt anyone is going to do so however if you do have friends that do have quite a few windows licenses available they may be able to gift you a license and then that will activate your device but it is important at this stage to distinguish between again as we discussed before a single end user license and a volume license key volume license keys are meant for corporations rolling out the same key for hundreds of systems where essentially they need to activate systems really fast and it's very tedious to use one key over and over as well as if they buy a hundred or more keys they can get bulk discounts which makes it more of an incentive for that business to use those volume license keys they're not meant for the single user building their first pc who wants to play video games at home and in fact a lot of these volume license keys will have expiry dates so if you find your windows has been deactivated then unfortunately you are sold a wrong and counterfeit key and you need to go get a single end user license key because what happens with single end user license keys is they are activated forever. So now it's time for the last method. If you cannot get access to any Microsoft keys and say for instance, you've bought a gaming PC off a retailer and they've just left Windows unactivated, installed it, but you can't get any of the features, then you can use the video sponsor here at Tech Yes City, SCD Keys. I've been using SCD Keys for years. I've been recommending it to my viewers for years and I haven't had one key deactivated. I even went undercover and went and called Microsoft about these keys as well as scanning these keys to see what kind of keys they were and they all came out as single end user license keys meaning the SCD keys are selling the real deal. So if you're interested in getting Microsoft activated, I'll put the links in the description below for you. Though with that aside, do let us know in the comments section below if you guys have any questions of your own or if you know of any other methods that of course are legitimate 
not using any third-party software to get Windows activated that we've missed in today's video. Love reading those thoughts and opinions as always. Just like this question of the day here, which comes from three Rudders, and they say, are you planning on selling that Seahawk RTX 3080? I'm just asking for a friend. And that's when I come back to Australia. So basically the RTX 3080 that I recently picked up in a used parts hunt for a pretty good deal, there was actually someone locally here in Japan that saw that and they were like, Brian, I want to do a deal with you. So I'm in the process of uh, working out a deal with a friend here locally in Japan for that uh, as it was a pretty good deal. It's basically one of the best RTX 3080s you can get. We got that for 580 USD. So always be on the lookout for good used deals. But unfortunately with that one, it looks like it's pre-booked up. However, I do want to do a budget bill with it, show people what you can get if you're in the market for some good used price performance. Because now, especially when it comes to CPUs, RAM and SSDs, I'm finding the prices on this stuff is actually coming down to a really good level. And the GPUs are slowly coming down to a great level as well, making it not a bad time, especially if you want to build a used gaming PC and get some great performance there. So hopefully that answers that question. And with that aside, if you guys have stayed this far and you're enjoying that Tech yes content, then be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell to get the content as soon as it drops here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.